Hey y'all, and welcome back to the channel. We decided to go on a little President's Day ride. So yeah, y'all lay around for it. Hey y'all, it's your girl Lady Will. We out here at the Velmos going for a short little ride, waiting on the uh, other couple to come join us. Not sure exactly where we are going, but I believe it's somewhere in between Macon and Locust Grove, if that's even how you say it, but we'll see. So, I'm gonna have them back there in the back. They you gonna say something? What up, what up? Look, man, I ain't, I'm gonna put squinching cause the sun in my face and I ain't bring my shades which I was supposed to do but the temperature seemed pretty good it almost tricked us though I'm gonna put my other jacket on once we got on that road that uh that wind went to hit me I still got on my heated gear I hate being cold so yeah I know this this ideal weather for some of the some of you riders but I don't like to be cold at all at all at all We out here. Who that? That who that is? What that? Oh, oh, okay. Where y'all at? Where at? Who that? Who that? Come on. They're 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 they go, Brittany. Where Brit? Brit? Brittany? She over there in the corner. Terrence. All right, we finna go. We just found out where we was about to go. Somewhere between Macon and Locust Grove was the initial. Uh, was the the initial thing, but um, uh, yeah. But we going to um to the Tanger Outlet. All right, so it's Faye. I'm going to see you there in a little bit. All right, you guys. We are on the way to the Tanger Outlet to do a little shopping and to meet up with Everyday Faye and Land Shop Chronicles. Just want to bring something to you all attention so you don't be alarmed and people don't say, oh, you need to close the gap and make sure no other cars get in between y'all. When we were on the back roads, um, we gave each other that space because we have not ridden together so we don't know each other's riding styles i mean Brittany and terrence rode each other and of course me and the hubs rode with each other but now we have combined the two so we just want to give each other um that space so just in case we need it and not to mention it's a thing called ride your ride so you're gonna definitely see us doing that i can definitely see how uh, people get in trouble out there because it is tempting to try to keep up but at the end of the day, you got to ride your ride. Oh, 
And just in case y'all haven't figured it out, your girl is from Dade County, and she gonna always represent that 305, take it to the house. In my trick, daddy boys, I swear I was a thug in my past life. Y'all don't judge me. Oh, and another thing you all might notice, especially if you follow me on Instagram, is my green vest that I wear. Uh, I've been laughed at about my green vest by quite a few people. And that's okay, because it does serve as a good laugh. However, I do wear that vest because hopefully and prayerfully, it will protect me should I need it. The vest is not just a green vest. It serves as an airbag. I pray that it never happens, but if I am thrown from that bike for any reason, the airbag will deploy and it will protect my neck and my back. So that's why I wear it and I will probably, you will probably see me with it on all rides. Um, you know, safety ain't always cool and safety don't always look cute, but hey, like they say, dress for the slide, not the ride. All right, y'all, so I'll let y'all enjoy some of the scenery as we get on into uh, the Tanger Outlet and meet up with Everyday Faye and Lane Shot Chronicles. Alright y'all, so we done a little shopping and now it's time to eat. At that point your girl was hungry and I couldn't even concentrate. So it was definitely time to get something to eat.
Here I am listening to Megan Thee Stallion. I promise y'all, in my head, me, Megan, Trina, Nikki, and Beyonce, we are all best friends and they just don't even know it. Y'all, we outside. They go land shark chronicles. Everyday fay in the back. Thugs right there. Right. Terrence, I see you. You up there playing? <laughs> Terrence and um, Brittany. So we up here. About to eat. This is really like our little first little. I don't know. Ride for the purpose, I guess, or ride to link up, and then um. Go to a little bar thing. Anyway, if it's the first, then it ain't gonna be the last. to gas up and head back now i know that i've heard that the the cars or the, the cagers as they call it don't pay attention or they will intentionally run you off the road or the the horror stories but this is the first time i actually witnessed um this in action All right, so as we're about to make this right turn, immediately to our right is the turning lane. So the cars that are coming from our left will be in the lane to go straight. And as we turn into the lane, this white SUV crossover, whatever it is, intentionally cut Terrence off from, you know, Brittany from us proceeding. And it just, it was just a not a good look. And I was like, dang, so that really happened, huh? So nevertheless, we, um, we maneuvered around it and we made it do what it do. All right, for our next situation, as we made the right turn, Landshark Chronicles immediately went into the lane I guess we were supposed to go in, but he knew it was crowded. So I guess Everyday Faye decided to go down the lane so we can all get over without, you know, cutting cars off or, you know, get over safely. However, communication got mixed up and I think Brittany thought she said to go straight and you can actually hear Faye revving her engine to let us know that we were going the wrong way. Once the mishap happened, Everyday Faye and Land Shark Chronicles quickly went to the plan B. So they held traffic while we did this U-turn around this little median. And y'all know your girl do not like U-turns. In fact, I told Terrence then before we left, don't be doing no U-turns because your girl ain't doing them. But I did a semi one. I still need to get down to Robert to practice. All right, we back on our original plan, so let's ride.
All right, so at this point, we didn't really see Brittany and Terrence anymore until they got off their exit. We already knew they was going to go ahead and take off. Both of them are seasoned riders. Um, they they previously were on crotch rockets um, prior to switching over to baggers. <laughs> Overall, this was a great ride. Anytime we can get out on the motorcycles and meet up with good people and have a wonderful time, it's a win. Hey, I appreciate you rocking with your girl. Hey, it's been real. Y'all lay round four. The next adventure will be Daytona. We're going down there for bike week. We're going down there on the 9th through the 12th. So y'all holler at your girl if you're down there.